Now, in section A of your SPL syllabus, it's about leadership. And when we talk about leadership, we cannot turn away from looking at a very important element called culture. And why is culture so critical? Now, in any organization, whether you are in a public sector or not a public sector, culture is the experience of human, it's the experience of people. It's how they interact with you and how they view you and how they feel about you. It's the emotions that they will be able to relate when they engage you. So it's actually very important in all um, organizations for their leaders to think about what kind of culture that you want to establish for your business organization. So when I look at, I mean, when you look at this diagram on the, the screen, I believe you can immediately relate to this thing called cultural web right and the the thing about cultural web is it tells us about a few elements that form or define the culture of an organization so first of all we look at the very theoretical aspects about how to remember uh, what are all the elements that form or define your culture so normally in the class I will tell students to remember this this simple uh, mnemonic called SRC 321 uh, what is SRC 321 that means we have three S we have two R and we have one C okay so what are exactly the C that we are looking here now we are looking at the stories we're looking at the symbols and we're looking at the structures. Now, in fact, structures can refer to both the organization structures as well as power structures. Now, then we have routine as well as rituals. Now, although routine rituals are actually referring to the same thing, the only difference is routines are what you practice on a more regular basis, like your daily routines, whereas rituals could be those uh, once in a while kind of celebrations, but again, it's done on a routine basis, like maybe an annual celebrations of an annual dinner or a sports day or a family day or a monthly celebrations of staff birthdays. This can all be example of uh, rituals. Now, then uh, we have C, which actually refers to the control systems. Now, if you are a leader of an organization and you truly believe that culture is an important asset, sets now what you should do is you should invest about how to create or form a culture that will actually synchronize with your strategy that will actually be something that is of your value that will be consistent with your visions your missions and so on so i'm going to share with you an example of how um, i look at the simple case studies of what we have in real life and i've picked one of our malaysia very popular politicians called hannah yo and uh, in what way that we can see that in her actions she is actually applying some of these elements from culture web to to define the working style and working culture of her ministry. Now we know that she is actually the Minister of Youth and Sports, so she represents these two particular portfolio that's to do with people that is very energetic. And obviously when you're talking about youth, when you're talking about sports, you're talking about the physical act activities, the energies, and the way how people will engage together as a teamwork, as the kind of spirits that must be there to represent her particular um, ministry. So we can see uh, some of those things that she has already implemented or she has done, uh, including number one, uh, she has made a way with this uh, excessive protocol. So if I would just zoom into one of those things that she's doing, she say that uh, the youth and sports ministers Hannah Yo stressed that she and her deputy do not need excessive protocol at the ministries with the staff having to stand and wait for them for hours to welcome them besides bowing in respects. So this is already one example of what she's trying to do and what is the kind of culture that she's trying to achieve from this particular practice. But let's think about which element of the culture web that she's doing away over here. Now you can probably relate to this is some kind of routine or ritual. You know, it's the kind of celebrations, the kind of practices that you do every time when you see a boss you may want to give them this kind of very uh, grand welcoming now but she's trying to say that no we do not need to do that because we are in the department that we work together as a team and I would like you to be very inclusive. So we can see that this is something that she's trying to achieve. Now we see that uh, there's another news article that shows when she was appointed as the sports minister, she appeared before the media with a very casual kind of uh, attire and wearing a pair of sports shoes. Now I think she sends a very clear message about I'm a sports minister so I got to appear like somebody that's very close to sports. Uh, we can see in most of those appearance that she represents the sports ministry, she will always wear her usual, you know, the sports t-shirts that we have that Harima Malaya, if I'm not wrong, trying to carry out a symbol that represents herself, which represents the ministries that she's heading. Now next, we also see that Hannah actually sets a goal or a target for the country that we would like to achieve our first Olympic gold medal in 2024. She's also writing the story for these ministries and it's also a kind of stories that people will associate with her leadership, with her success. You know, how imagine how will people would relate this achievement with her when we really get our first gold medal in Olympic Games in 2024. We only touch on certain things that's more obvious to us, like for example, the routine rituals. We also saw the symbols that she's having. We also see that the stories that she's trying to write for the ministries. In a way, you can also see the way how power structures work under her leadership. So we wish Hannah Yo a good success in her leadership in these sports ministries and we look forward for great success under her leadership and we also thank you that we are using her as a case study to give us a better understanding of what is cultural web. Thank you.